G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's fish feature is on Labroides dimidiatus, otherwise known as the cleaner ass. We're gonna tell you all about this fish and exactly what it takes to look after them in your reef aquarium. The cleaner ass is one of the most famous fish on the reef, and that's because they clean the parasites off other uh, reef dwelling fish. And you'll often see uh, in nature documentaries, the footage of large gropers and cods having the cleaner wrasse dart in and out of the mouth. It's quite an amazing symbiotic relationship, the way that these guys actually eat the parasites off fish in the wild. Now they will also do that in your reef aquarium. We're gonna talk about their diet in a sec, but talking about the description of these fish, they're a beautiful little fish. They're very outgoing. You'll often see them swimming high in the tank. Uh, they're a blue and white and black fish. So they're quite striking. They get around about four inches or 10 centimeters. So they are a small fish. But let's start by talking about the diet of the cleaner ass. Now, as I mentioned, the cleaner ass will eat parasites off fish on the reef, but also in your aquarium. And this guy here was actually just uh, looking for parasites on our coral beauty here. So you can see the coral beauty actually presents to allow the cleaner wrasse to come up and, and it's really interesting. And it's one of the reasons why I like to have the cleaner wrasse in your aquarium. It also helps for parasite control of your fish. But the diet of the cleaner wrasse is particularly important and generally in a reef aquarium environment, you won't have enough parasites on your fish to sustain the cleaner wrasse. So you will need to supplement their diet with foods. Now, I find that frozen foods are typically the most readily accepted food for the cleaner wrasse. So particularly things like frozen brine shrimp and mysa shrimp, and they can be a bit slow to get onto dry foods like uh, pellets and flakes. And often some specimens will never really take to those sorts of foods. But uh, the, probably the most important thing about their diet is make sure that they are eating. Sometimes the stress of the transition into the reef, envir uh, the reef aquarium environment can be a little bit too much for them. So make sure whenever you do purchase a specimen of the cleaner ass that it is eating really well. So now let's talk about uh, aquarium compatibility. The cleaner wrasse is a small fish which is suitable for relatively small aquariums. And in fact, you could have them in tanks as small as 100 liters, uh, which is around about 25 gallons. But you can also have them in very large aquariums. And because of the uh, purpose that they serve in terms of eating parasites off your other fish, including predatory fish, you will often be able to keep them with fish that you wouldn't uh, normally put little fish like the cleaner wrasse in with. So um, often they will be okay with predatory fish. Uh, there are some exceptions and I've certainly seen lionfish eat the cleaner ass, so do be careful. But in general, they are compatible with uh, most fish. Um, they don't typically eat corals. I've heard of one or two examples of them uh, picking at clams, but I find that to be extremely rare. Um, and so really they are suitable for the vast majority of reef aquariums. So let's talk about the difficulty rating of the cleaner wrasse. Now we have a difficulty rating scale of one to 10. One is the easiest and 10 is the hardest to keep in your reef aquarium. And the cleaner wrasse is a solid five. And the reason why it doesn't rate as a, an easier fish is just because of the fact that some uh, cleaner wrasse are hard to transition onto prepared foods. And whilst they will eat parasites off the fish in your aquarium, that certainly is not a long-term food supply. And if you uh, have a cleaner wrasse which is not eating prepared foods, it's going to be difficult to keep. But in general, uh, most cleaner wrasse are fine. And once they're eating and settled into your tank, they are certainly a very hardy member of your reef ecosystem. I definitely think the cleaner ass is a fish that I would put in the vast majority of reef aquariums. And it's not just because of the inter interesting interaction watching them pick parasites off your other fish, it's also because they're a great dither fish. They swim high in the tank, they help to bring the other fish out. They're a very confident, outgoing fish. And especially in tall aquariums, it's important to be able to fill the open water space so that you've got lots of fish swimming out and about. And the cleaner wrasse is an, and a very good example of a fish that will do this well. 
So that's it for today's fish feature on the Cleaner Ass. Hopefully you've learned a little something about this interesting fish. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.